Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this pro tip video, we're going to take a look at how we can improve our cuts with the jigsaw. The jigsaw straight out of the box is the most useful and useless tools at the same time. <laughs> Allow me to explain. It is fairly lightweight, it has a nice long cord, it has a good depth of cut with the stock blade, and in my case it is roughly 7.5 centimeters. Uh, it cuts 90 degrees this way, well, give or take a few degrees, cuts 90 degrees this way, <laughs> again, give or take a few degrees, and you can easily change the direction of your cut just by moving the jigsaw. You mostly have seen me using the jigsaw to do my cuts of the big plywood sheets, and again, that comes to the advantage of the jigsaw is that I don't have to maneuver anything around, let's say, the table saw or the bandsaw. Uh, this is, uh, it has enough reach so I can cut across the big plywood sheet without any issues. At the same time, <laughs> the jigsaw is the most useless tool when it comes down to cross-cutting. And cross-cutting is when you take a look at this piece of uh, wood, the grain goes this way, so a cross cut would be a cut this way, so you're basically severing the grains. There is a huge unsupported area between the foot and the blade, and that causes a lot of chipaways. I'll demonstrate this right now. Upon closer inspection, we can see all the chipaways I was referring to a little bit earlier in the video. So, how can we fix this? The answer is simple. Double-sided tape and a piece of clear acrylic. In my case, it is 3 millimeters or 1 eighth of an inch, and that's just because that's what I have. The idea behind this is that the acrylic is going to serve as an additional support at the bottom of the foot, thereby reducing that unsupported area around the blade. Uh, this is not rocket science, so it's very easy to kind of uh, trace out the shape of the foot, uh, where the blade sits, and do the necessary cuts. So I'm going to speed that up, uh, attach the support, and repeat the cut. So stay tuned. So you, you saw me doing all the cuts on the bandsaw and you wonder, okay, if I don't have a bandsaw, can I make this template? And the answer is yes, of course. Uh, you can do this with the jigsaw. The thing to remember is to support your acrylic where the cut goes. So in the case of the bandsaw, the blade is going down, cutting downwards, so my support was underneath. Uh, with the jigsaw, the cut is going upwards, so you need to have another piece of wood or plywood uh, on top and then you cut your uh, template. So it's very simple. Uh, let me do the double-sided tape now and do the second cut. Comparing the two side by side, you can see a world of difference. And this is how you do it. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.